Once upon a time, there was a boy named David who loved to read. His imagination would dance across the pages, eager to soak up tales from history, the wonders of science, even far-flung realms of fiction. One day, nestled in the heart of a book about time travel, David stumbled upon a peculiar passage. It whispered of a magic word, a word that, if spoken, could transport the speaker back in time. Now David was as skeptical as anyone, but the spark of curiosity in him refused to dim. He decided to put the magic word to the test. Closing his eyes, he carefully uttered the word, Abracadabra. Suddenly, the world around him began to spin. When he opened his eyes, he found himself standing amidst unfamiliar buildings surrounded by people in strange attire. A sense of awe washed over him as he realized that he had traveled back in time. Suddenly, David was standing in a strange place. Disoriented and bewildered, David found himself amidst cobbled streets and thatched roofs, a stark contrast to the familiar skyscrapers and asphalt of his time. The town seemed like a still painting from a history book, tranquil and untouched by the ravages of time. As he ventured deeper into the town, David was welcomed by the warm smiles and friendly nods of the townsfolk. Their clothes were woven from rough fabric, their hands hardened by work, yet their eyes sparkled with mirth and a simple joy of life. The town was filled with the hustle and bustle of daily chores, children's laughter echoing through the narrow streets, the aroma of freshly baked bread wafting in the air. David's curiosity was piqued. He spent the following days immersing himself in the town's history, listening attentively to the elders' stories of ancient battles and harvest feasts, of heroes and legends. He was fascinated by the rich tapestry of tales that formed the town's identity. As days turned into weeks, David found himself forming bonds with the townsfolk. He played chess with the old blacksmith, helped the miller with his grinding, and even learned to dance at the lively town fairs. The town, once a strange place, became a second home to him. The simplicity and camaraderie of the past began to grow on him. He was having so much fun that he almost forgot that he was supposed to be in the future. One day, David was walking through the town when he saw a group of men arguing. The air was thick with tension, and the men's voices echoed with a sense of urgency. They were discussing an impending war, a devastating conflict that would ravage the lands and take countless lives. David felt a pang of fear in his heart. He couldn't stand by and watch this happen. He knew he had to act to somehow avert this catastrophe. So he began to formulate a plan. It was bold, audacious, but it was the only way. He sought an audience with the leaders of the two warring nations. His words were firm, his conviction unwavering as he told them his plan. He promised to travel back in time, to reason with their ancestors, to prevent this war from ever taking root. The leaders, initially skeptical, were swayed by David's passionate plea. They agreed to halt their march towards war. The war was never fought, and the two countries lived in peace. However, there was a surprise in store for David. As he stepped back into his familiar world, it wasn't quite as he'd left it. The future had changed, morphed by his actions in the past. Buildings towered higher, streets buzzed with new technologies, and social norms had evolved in ways he hadn't anticipated. David stood amidst the whirlwind of change, initially bewildered. His once familiar world now felt alien. But like a well-read book, he soon began to adapt, deciphering the new language of his evolved surroundings. He found a new job, one that hadn't existed in his old world and began to construct a fresh life amidst this new reality. Yet, despite the disorientation and the whirl of adjustment, a sense of satisfaction bubbled within David. He'd been part of something momentous, something that altered the course of history. He'd stepped up, faced an unimaginable challenge, and had come out on the other side, victorious. This realization brought a warmth to his heart, a contentment that ran deeper than any he had known. David's incredible journey had taught him invaluable lessons. He learned that he could do anything if he put his mind to it. He also learned that it is important to stand up for what is right, even if it means facing challenges. After all, sometimes, the greatest adventures lie not in the destination, but in the journey itself. This is the complete story of David's lesson in time travel. It is a story about adventure, change, and hope. It is a story that inspires us all to be the best that we can be. This was the end of our story for today. I hope you have benefited and it increased your enthusiasm in your life and the positivity in your day. Always be positive. Don't be negative. Look ahead more. You have to know every day is a nicer day than the day before. 
See you tomorrow on a new day and a new story. Stay happy. Bye-bye.